Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. So, how's everyone? Are you doing great? What are you feeling right now, Miss Bernal? I'm okay, ma'am. Just feeling under the weather, but it'll be okay. <laughs> oh, that's good to know, Miss Bernal. Thank you. How about Miss Wang? How are you today? I'm doing great, ma'am. I feel excited for our lesson today. Oh, nice. That is really an exciting part, Miss Wang. Okay, so let's now proceed for our topic slash activity for today. So as you can see on your screen, we still have the passive as our topic because today you will be doing, doing an activity wherein you will be the one who will transform an active sentence into a passive sentence. So again, the passive form is a special structure we use to change the focus of an action. So for the review, here's the sentence structure that will stand as your guide in making an active sentence into a passive sentence. Okay. We have three sentence structure and it is for affirmative, negative, and for the question form. Kindly read our sentence structure for the present simple, Ms. Wang. M, M is R, eight, past participle, um, third form of the verb. M is R, eight, not, eight, past participle, third form of the verb. M is R, eight, subject, eight, past participle, third from the verb. All right. Thank you, Miss Wang. In the present simple, the passive is am, um, is, are, plus the past participle, or the third form of the verb. Making a negative present simple passive form is you just need to insert the word not between um, is, or are, and plus the past participle or the contracted forms are isn't and aren't. To make a question in present simple passive, is swap the subject and um, is, or are. The structure for asking questions in present simple passive is um, is, are, plus the subject, plus the, pers plus the past participle. How about on our present continuous passive? Ms. Bernal, can you please read? Uh, am, a slash is, and are, plus being, plus past participle. Uh, am is R plus not plus being. Oh. Oh. M is R plus not plus being plus past participle. M is an R plus subject plus being plus past participle. Okay, thank you, Miss Bernal. So again, to make the statements with the present continuous passive, we used um, is, or are, plus being, plus the past participle form of the verb. In negative form, we will add the word that, we will add the word not between um, is, or are, plus not, plus being, plus the past participle form of the verb. Also, to form a question in present continuous, our structure must be um, is or are plus the subject plus the word being plus the past participle okay i hope you remember how our sentence was structured according to their use so all right let's now proceed to our activity are you class ready yes ma yes ma'am So for today's activity, I prepared three sentences in each 
verb tenses. Are you class ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. I will give you five minutes to answer the three sentences. You may write your answers on our chat box, and this will be part of your activity one. And yes, it is recorded. So let's start. You may start now. Okay, I think you are done, class. I can see that all your answers are correct. Great job. So, let's now see the correct answers. So, on our first sentence, they wear blue shoes. When we form it in the, in the passive sentence, it will become blue shoes are worn by them. So our subject on our first first sentence became our agent in the passive sentence and our object in the active sentence became our sen subject on our on our passive sentence and we change our verb into a past participle which is worn that's good class so, on our second sentence, he doesn't open the book. So, when we form it in the passive sentence, the book is not opened by him. So, our subject on our active sentence became our agent on our passive sentence. And our object in active sentence became our subject in the passive sentence and we insert the word not and we transform our verb into a past participle which is opened with ed so last sentence does the police officer catch that thief so when we form it in, into a passive voice is the thief caught by the police officer there is the word is plus our subject plus our verb which is in the past participle or the third form of the verb the subject on our first sentence became our agent on the second sentence 
So great job, class. I can see how you truly understand our lesson. Okay, let's now proceed to the present continuous. Again, I will be giving you five minutes to answer. You may start now. All right, you class are already good. Again, all your answers are correct. So, let's now see the correct answers. So, our first sentence in active, in active voice is Mr. Barber is handing out the exam papers. So, when we form it into a passive form, it will become the exam papers are being handed out by Mr. Barber. So you can see our subject on our active sentence became our agent in the passive sentence, which is Mr. Barber. And our object in the active sentence, which is exam papers, became our subject in our passive sentence. And there is the word are plus the word being plus our past participle form of the verb. So in the second sentence, they are not helping me. When we form it into a passive form, I am not being helped by them. So our, our subject on our first sentence, which is the active voice, became our agent in our passive sentence. And there is the word not, and this is a negative form. There is the word not plus the word being. Being plus being because it is, we talked about present continuous, plus the verb, which is in past participle. So in the last sentence, is the agent chasing the criminal. So when we form it into a passive sentence, is the criminal being chased by the agent. There is the word is plus our subject plus the word being plus our past participle which is chased and our agent. So is there any questions before I end this class? Nothing ma'am. All right. No, no. Okay, that's good. All right, this will be the end of our class today. Later, I will be sending our new materials with new topic. Make sure you read it and understand it. That's all for today. Goodbye and thank you, class. Take care. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank you, Paul. Goodbye, Paul. Goodbye. Thank you.